little glue lobbing fucking familiar. Well, it's a ranged touch attack, so about half the time he's going to miss. Yeah. But when it does And it, when it hits, it doesn't do a whole lot. No, it but one it's, one of the, it's one of the better first level ability manifests I could find for it. Fair enough. It's not many cool. decent first level manifestations. Okay, then we're back to initiative. Both. That could have been a neat one to give him. Astral travel traveler, the astral caravan power. <laughs> yeah, if you're planning on doing that. The problem with the psionic astral abilities is everybody in the group needs to have them or it doesn't work. Yes. And unless you actually have a way of navigating the astral plane, going to the astral plane is awful. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Whitey's up first. So when they have bows, they don't provoke, right? Sorry, Correct. I mean, if I enter them. Awesome. Let's fly into this guy and attack him. Mm. It's a hit. No, well, better than nothing. Slightly. Yep. Okay, what's the zero doing? Uh, so first of all, the bear will charge this guy. And attack him. I don't think the bear mm -hmm. can charge through that opening. Well, it's a medium bear. I realize that, but there isn't a clear path through that opening. I like see. The square he was standing in was partially obstructed, and he's got to run past the point. Okay, so without charging, he'll walk up and attack this guy. Okay. And that would be a hit. It will hit him with a claw. Oh, come on. Okay. And then, I guess I'll go there. I'll yell to Baldron that there is a hyena to the right. Um, to the east, sorry. Um, and I will Sonic Strike here. Okay. So that would be... And this one plus two for damage. <clears throat> and round. Actually, I can heal my bear. Yeah, I'll uh, heal my bear with the uh, cure minor. Okay. And then Baldrun, you're up. Okay. You said to the east, so let's move up. Um, oh, I see. Um, no, that's not the hyena I meant. I meant like up there to the east. Oh. That one? No, there is a hyena there. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, well. Um... That one is blind, I guess. Um... Which one? This? It's dazzled, not blind. This one? 
that one is potentially deaf. Deafened. Okay. Um, oh, let... sorry, I didn't roll the saves on that. Uh, he was already deafened from before. I think. Yeah, but the other one needs a save, doesn't it? Uh, I don't remember. I think I deafened like three different things there. Deafen doesn't have any effect on them, so. Okay. If you're not casting spells and not giving orders, Deafen really doesn't have a combat related effect. It sucks. It will demoralize them. Yes, they're very demoralized. They can't hear the wails of pain. <laughs> um, I think I'll just have the warrior um i'll just have the hunter make a will save dc is 18. not that he's likely to make the save but damn I, what was save. that straight twos on a d10s wow that's impressive Yep. Should be playing poker right now. Um, yeah, you just threw a one in a thousand hand. <laughs> that's true. Um, that is the turn. Yes, yeah, stealing health is considered evil. Now, you're not good, so uh wouldn't be a huge issue for you. I was just wondering, because there's a nice power called Vampiric Blade. Heal half of your base weapon damage when you hit. Um, that wouldn't be, um, because you're doing weapon damage and you're just absorbing that. That would be like a ring of vampiric regeneration, okay. like Lake had in the, uh, Planescape game. Right, right. Okay. But when you're using necromantic energy to hurt somebody, that's the evil part. Okay. Yeah, it's a psycho metabolism spell. Okay. So then it is the warrior's go. He will five foot over and then attack uh, Revere. Wailing on him. Ding. And then the other warrior will attack him. Do you want to try to disarm me? You can. I rolled a 32. Oh, yep. Yeah. Wish he had said that with my 25. <laughs> so I only got a 13 for my disarm. Next one, I'm going to lock that crit down to a 22 so it doesn't crit, but I still failed the parry. Not say 31 disarm. Okay, he does not disarm you, but he does do colossal damage. 10 uh -huh. points and then the um the hunter will fire or attack you he's only plus four 16 that's probably not a hit on you you too okay um then the hyena will come up behind you guys God damn it, that's why I said there is a hyena there. Oh, I didn't see him, I couldn't see this side. Yeah, I was wondering where it was coming from. You said east, so I'm like, east? They're all yeah, no, I didn't see anything. These are dead hyenas, this is not a real hyena. Yeah, I know, but I didn't see anything for 60 feet, so I thought you were talking yeah, about this was, side. He was a lot further over to the one side. Yeah. Okay, um... I think that's everything, so we're on to Riviere. All right, well, we're going to start by hitting Monday Hunter. Oh, my Don't God. Oh, it. my God. I think I just murdered him. I think the Universal Cleave might be better here, if I confirm the confirmed. Yeah, if you confirm the conf I mean, at this point, Universal just better, flat out. Which I don't, but that's still... Now that's a colossal amount of damage. 
Yeah, your standard's, what, 30, it looks like? So 30 plus, what, 54 total? Well, he's got two crits, so he would do max twice. That would do 68 damage. Only six on the hunter. Doesn't really matter. You kill two of them. Yeah, I'll, I'll kill... 68 points is enough to kill both of them at full health, so... There is also this thing. Yeah, but he can only cleave once. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. that's my turn. I just murder a couple of them. Okay, then we're back to initiative. I can't wait for a great cleave. Yeah, great cleave is awesome. You might want to get uh, Guarded Parry first, though. I get two feats next level. One fighter and one parasitic warrior. Okay, what's what are you doing? Uh, I just wanna talk to Serena. Hyena misses him. Cool. Proceeding to hit the hyena. Nice. Oh, he's on fire today. Cool, that's why I did. Okay. Uh, then the warrior will... He'll attack the bear. And the warrior already go? Go. No, it's the warrior's turn. He's second in initiative. Oh, well, yeah, right. We rolled, re rolled. I'm just retarded. And then the hyena will attack Azura. That will hit. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I actually hit. Easiest person in the party to hit. Yeah, what's this armor thing you guys are talking about? Wow, 10 points too. Yep. Okay, um, then it's your go. All right. Um, so first of all, I'm going to... Step to here. Mm. Okay, let's try hitting it with this heavy thing. Did you cast full strength? Nope. I'll just try hitting in the old fashioned way with the bless. And I do not. Okay. Um, I will then have the bear attack it by five foot stepping and full attacking. Okay. Uh, spear. Okay. Um, die, Helena. Claw, claw, bite. Okay, two claws hit. And that's the end of the hyena. Okay. And at this point, I'm going to cure minor wounds myself. <clears throat> okay. Cure minor is half your level. Half level, oops, sorry. Uh, so then it's four. Okay. Cool. Then we're on to Baldrin. Um, I could try and, and attack, but let's be real here. I'm just gonna five foot move over here, and um, math failing. Let's just do four points. 
to Revere. Faith Miner. Interesting. That's it. You move from a flank position to go heal? I mean, let's be real. I Val, Baldwin has no expectation Revere needs the flank. Fair enough. <laughs> Dude, I'm fighting nearly with a druid here. Yeah, and I'm just keeping the guy in the front as healed. That's, that's what I'm realistically going to be good at. You probably have better chances at hitting at melee than as well. Uh, we doubt that. For sex to doubt. That is my turn. Okay. Riviera, you're up. And I clear over to Baldrum. Okay. <laughs> that, no, that's it for me. I don't know that everything dead loot the bodies okay two warriors and a hunter i feel like there's something up in this crevice but i could is there anything with the falling up in this crevice nope Does it still look like the bloodline marks are coming through here? Wait, why is my bear minus one? Because you gave it minus hit points. Yeah, I did by mistake. I meant the lane. Okay, I think. Then, what? Where does the blood trail go? Uh, you can roll a perception or a survival check. Uh, I'm gonna take a survival. So that's a 25, because I guess it's full in trucks. Blood trail goes like that. Okay. Uh, I pointed out for everyone to see. I guess we continue here. Uh, okay. Then I ignore the obvious split. Blood trail ends here, right, John? No, it doesn't end there. It's just as far as she can see. Oh, okay. You want to give me another uh, perception check or another survival? Uh, 18. Okay. The uh, blood trail continues through the next passage. Well, hopefully we don't get ambushed on that forked road there. Yeah, maybe we should go clear out to that area before. Oh, and initiative. No. No confirmed. I just realized something. We could be trying to sneak up on them. Yeah, you could be. Or you can just stomp around yelling out the trails over here. What is sneaking? It's when you kill something before it has a chance to try and kill you. But hear me out. We just murder hobo everything. Right, until you run into something that's stronger. Oops, I just uh, deleted you by accident. I thought you were the hunter, Azura. What? She's still there. No, it's the initiative. Oh. Is 
So, John, seeing as that vampiric weapon is not inherently evil, would a spell that took strength, steal strength from someone, be considered, or no? Nope. Okay. As long as it doesn't uh, kill or drain life permanently, you're fine. Yeah, no, this one just steals one point of strength damage and gives me it as an enhancement bonus, up to a maximum of plus eight. Yeah, definitely in the shady category, but not a problem for a neutral character. Generally, when a spell takes something from somebody else and gives it to you, you're in the shady area. Uh, as a lawful, as a neutral character, it's like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would be, like I was describing before, like you can have white, gray, and black. Black is you're going to suffer consequences. White is totally fine, and gray is, eh, it's okay. not. It might have a cumulative effect, but uh, it's not going to be an immediate issue. And for a character who isn't specifically good, you're not required to be good. Cool. Well, I thought I rolled initiative. What happened to my initiative? Oh, I rolled a mod instead of initiative. There I go. Rolled even worse. Okay. Um, I assume Whitey's not doing anything. Uh, one second. Does this guy have a bow out? Yeah, they would both have their bows. Okay, then he will attack it. He can't attack until you give him a command. We okay. haven't been following through on that. All right, so he'll hold initiative to mine, I guess. So, Riviera, what are you doing? I go right there, hit the hunter. <laughs> that would be a crit. And so that's a triple crit with a confirm. <laughs> Do we have the house rule that the three crits uh, is an instant kill or something? No, I, I don't do the uh, the triple crit thing. Um, but uh, for some affiliations, rolling three criticals in a row is a huge boon. Um, I lift the bodies. Okay. <laughs> at the end of the initiative <laughs> yes what's the plus 28 for uh the damage i rolled it was max oh, okay. it was max three times because that 23 is a crit because i've crit an 18 20 no that's fine yeah. <laughs> do you want to maybe cleave through the walls as well with that damage <laughs> A, a giant psychic warrior walks into the building and kills everything. Did you get the uh, loot? Yeah, I was one, uh, one hunter, one warrior. Yep, just making sure. Yep, nope, thank you. Dude, Riviera, you want to go first in there? Sure. Oh, oh, well, I think we're seen. There you see a guy to the cell. Yeah, no. Okay, then roll initiative. Oh, this is going to be a fun haul to squeeze down. Yeah, that is going to be a super fun haul to squeeze down. Especially while you're being attacked. Holy shit, I sense a bloodbath coming up. Why? Well, I just rolled a 19 and a 21, so uh, if that's any indication of what's coming up, you're fucked. Mm. 
this will be fine. I also rolled a 21. But yes, again. but I have been rolling single digits for two hours. <laughs> I think three. Maybe. So I have a whole lot of double digit numbers in the can. And the hyena goes first. So he will move up and attack. That's my threat range. Is he five footing, five footing, or is he not smart enough to do that? Uh, your threat range is 15 feet. Yep. Um, how do you get the extra five feet? Uh, through the elongated limbs. I elongated my arms, so I get another five okay. feet. Okay, so it would be something that would be obvious to him that you could reach that far. So yeah, he would move up and approach cautiously. Yeah, I got these like long, snaky arms that probably... Yeah, that's why I was asking, is if it's not obvious that you have that type of reach? Yeah. So I'd have like arms down to my knees will be in like 10 feet tall kind of thing. Yeah, that's weird. A lot of the a lot of the uh, psionic shit is weird. Okay, so he attacks Azura for eight points. It's mm. unfortunate. And then the second one, yeah, he'll double five for him. He has to use all of his movement to get there, but uh, that's as far as he can go. Now that you're all nicely pinched. So I triple crit again. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm assuming that your triple crits are well used up as well. And then the hunter will shoot. Uh, I guess he'll just shoot Revere. Oh no, he can shoot the bear. Only if I roll well. Okay, uh, then we are on to Whitey and Azura. Did we miss me? Yeah, I rolled a seven. No, did we miss me in turn? Oh, sorry, yeah, I guess I did. Okay. Well, oh, we'll yeah, on. I went to the hunter after the hyena, sorry. I'll start on south. I uh, crit, did die. Confirm, so I actually might be better to cleave through here. Or not cleave through, uh, Universal here. It's the wrong macro anyways, so I do more damage. So it's 34 plus... Yeah, they both die. Need to, uh, label my macros better, apparently. Yeah, why are you pushing your normal-sized macro? Uh, because it's right beside the big macro. I should just take off the normal size macro because I doubt I'll ever. Okay, um, that a, to cleave like that is a uh, standard, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. I can't even if I can get down that hall easily. Is it a five foot all the way down? Uh. For as far as you can see. Yeah, we're just going to go. Screw it. So I think it's... I can only get to there? Oh, okay. That's not... I'm not being squished there. Am I? No. Why am I in the wall? Because you asked if you were being squished, and I can't see if you're being squished when your token's on top of the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm like, if I just hold alt, I'm in a better spot. If I've told alt, I'm assuming I'm squished. So what are you doing? I'm just moving there, and that's my turn. Okay. Um, then the hunter to the north will shoot Ozara. Wait, wait, what about my, uh, 
Oh, they're before me, okay. Yeah. He misses horribly. Um, and then you're up. Right. Um, so first of all, Whitey attacked it. Actually, no, before that. Let's first of all move in a bit here, because I might as well pop this. Um, okay, I'll position myself here, and then I'm going to Sonic Strike here. Uh, <clears throat> I'll watch. Okay, and now Whitey will attack this bow guy. So. Okay, and now the bear will charge at him. Did the high oh is the high needle only coming to there? Yeah, it's as far as you can get. Okay, and I also have a swift that I cannot do anything useful with right. So Horizons are a swift or not? Yes. Zero level spells are swift. Okay. Uh, so let me see what my real cost means. Um, how much damage is real frost? All of the zero levels are D3 plus half your level. Okay. So I'm going to level a uh, real frost this guy. I assume that's a ranged touch. Uh, will that hit him? Touch? No. Okay, what's his touch AC? Uh, his touch AC is uh, 12, I believe. 12 or 13. Okay, he, I don't uh, mind yeah, that. 12, and then he's also in combat with both Whitey and the bear. Okay, so that's it then. Okay. And I'll yell to Boldron, there are three bad guys here. Uh, yeah, I have five. You, you you're indestructible, you're fine. Up and go in different directions. Hmm, you know that exit? Might need to verify the exit's still there. <laughs> you can roll a dwarven sense check to determine if there's been a cave-in at the entrance. You know, I, I, rather than roll I feel like I should just go investigate. You know, my eyes are better to, to, to see the state. I. Well, you'd have to have a reason to think that there's been a cave in, so oh, no, I'm sure we've been fighting that that hit he did in that last room definitely probably caused some structural damage. You know, it's best fine, just fine. To... Go, go back up for Riviera if you're worried I have more summons if you Well I'm not I'm not worried at all. I'm just saying it sounds like it's time for me to leave. Um that's it ten sounds feet. Like it's time for me to leave. Yeah, I mean to say um i was actually you know, expecting to get more done this uh uh this session that's 10 feet this is 30 how close am i uh 30 35 35's good enough uh let's five foot um isn't your movement rate 20 I have the freedom thing mantle. As long as I'm silently focused, I get plus ten movement. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to have him make a. I want to try this out. I'm gonna have him make a will save. Okay. Oh, sorry, DC is 19. Okay. Um, he's confused. Something terrible happened there. 
Yeah. Wait, then... who is confused? That warrior is confused. Ah, the warrior, okay. And how long does that last for? Uh, concentration plus one round. So I'm going to concentrate on it. And that, I guess, is my turn. Oh, that is HP, not my power point. Okay, then we're back to initiative. But before that, this guy in the bottom gets to attack. So we're going to move up to there. And roll miserably. And I think this hunter gets to attack as well. Twenty. Is that, was that a hit on you? Twenty. No. Nope. Twenty-two. Does that provoke if he's using a bow within threat? Yeah, he's not within. He's not in the area. Okay. Okay. So Whitey's up first. Uh, he'll attack again this guy that he's already in the square. Ah, uh, he finally misses. That's unfortunate. Um, actually, I'm gonna lock it. He'll hit. Okay. Because I want to finish off this dude. Ah, oh, come on. You go, girl. He's not finished. Okay, then the hyena will move up and attack. Um, I'm trying to decide if you attack the bear or one of the other guys. He can charge Azura, so he'll charge at her. Twenty. Yeah, that hits. I was actually going to intelligently attack Baldron just because it would break concentration, but <laughs> he wouldn't. You wouldn't know that. So eight points for her, and then the hunter will drop his bow draw his sword or his uh, spear and attack ooh stabbing the bear big time he will five foot out of that square too so five points for the bear I think that's yep. everyone to the north I registered for the bear And then the hyena will move up and attack Riviere. Missing horribly. Then the uh, archer will five foot back. Because I don't think he can get in there. Oh no, yeah, he can. Yeah, he'll drop his bow and move up. Draw his spear as he does. Missing horribly again. Para six is holy fucking shitty. Okay, and this guy will do the same. Twenty one. That's also a miss. Okay, then the two guys in the back will just shoot their bows. I am getting hell rained upon me, and it's not working. Yeah, I had originally planned on circling around. I, I wasn't paying attention. I zoomed in too much and have these guys come up 
from the north and attack you from the other side so you'd be flanked just because that would be their pack mentality but i got too uh involved in them moving this way and totally forgot about it i like how they, we just naturally split the party uh yep yeah. i don't think it's gonna be that much of an issue for you especially when i cast force shield and my they need a 20 to hit me Yep, that means they only have a 25% chance per round of hitting you. This doesn't really matter when I can parry. That guy, that guy hits. But I'm going to lock that down so he doesn't hit. Okay. That's your second or third lock? Second. Make sure you write that down for next session. Here, I will. I got one left. Okay, Azura, you're up. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, fine. Uh, the bear will full attack this guy. So won't he finally do? Um. Claw, claw, bite. Okay. So we'll bite at the claw. Kills him. Okay. And now the bear can fly from step. And now Azura can. So this guy has two AC less because it charged. So I'm gonna attempt to touch him with fire. And that probably succeeds. And he takes nine fire damage. And now I'm going to try to step here and then attempt to ray of frost him. Nice. Three damage. And that's it. Okay, then we're under Revere. All right, we'll start with the Hyena. Is the, is the correct? Never mind. You go, girl. Um, we'll do a. Just gonna check. It is a swift. We're gonna stomp, and where they can roll their uh, reflex save. What are you All stomping? These three, these three enough ground. It's a uh, twenty foot cone, which I think the guys in the back might get hit. No, I don't. What are you referring to? Uh just I'm using the manifest power stomp. Oh, okay. So the guys, three guys in the front can make a reflex save. And that's a swift action? Yeah, it only does D, or, uh, D4 damage, but it's a, uh, I'm using two points to do it. You realize you can only get one of them, right? Oh, okay, never mind. We won't do that. We'll just have uh, Primax spit at this one. Okay. Yeah, Cone, you pick a corner of your square, and then it goes out from there. I'm assuming a 10 does not hit its touch. No. Well, that sucks. Well, that's it for me. Okay, then we're on to Baldrin. I probably shouldn't ask, but just to clarify, does Confusion remove him from the initiative, or was it just forgotten? Um, what does he do for Confusion? I... I didn't take an action for him because I thought he was confused. Uh, oh, well, confusion typically is a D100 or a D4. Um, if he rolls 1 to 25, he can act normally. Uh, the next 25, he can't. He just babbles, does nothing. Next 25, he attacks an ally. Last 25, he attacks himself. He attacks himself? Yes. Attacks nearest creature or himself. 
Well, the nearest creature would be the bear. Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking about Pathfinder. In this one, the third one, he just runs away. Last one, he attacks the nearest creature. So he does not attack himself. I apologize. I was thinking about Pathfinder. Okay. I rolled a 93. What's 93? 93 attacks nearest creature. Okay. So he will charge the bear. I yeah, I'm really helping on the hyena. One second. The Ray of Frost was a not 20. Does Ray of Frost have a critical or do range spells do not attack? No, anything you roll um, to attack, you can crit on. Ah, so I should probably try to confirm that. I was trying so, to find this on Google and I could. 26 would easily be a hit on the bear. And he does d8 plus 4. So he does 10 points to the bear. Mm. Almost Dang. enough to smoke the bear. Um, yep. Wait, how many points to the bear? 10 to the bear. 8 points. 10 to the bear, okay. Uh, in any case, the hyena is dead. Because uh, apparently I created it. Yeah, but 10 isn't a confirm. Uh, no, it's plus 2. Oh, okay. Okay, then it would be dead. Cool. Ah, when you roll the... a crit, you do max damage, and then you roll to confirm for extra damage. Oh, I see. Okay, well, it will be dead in any case. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. I was just letting you know yep. mathematically what the outcome was. Okay. Cool. Okay, then we're back to Baldrin. Um, I think concentration is a standard, right? Since I didn't take anything, I don't have to make a check. Nope. Um, I'm just gonna keep it confused. I feel like I'm just gonna stall this fight. The first time? Hey, he had attacked the bear rather than attacking me, who's standing here. So that, that yeah, it worked out perfectly. It was my intention to attack you guys. Yeah, which is why I am very much okay with this. Um, I, I'll just tell Azura if he wants to help, if she wants to help, uh, Riviere, uh, between this and the bear, um. I'll keep that guy out. Okay. The bear is probably going to kill it. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that's the turn. Okay. Uh, we went a little over there, but no biggie. Um, anything you guys uh, want to ask before I leave? No. Do we have an option, actually, of doing sometimes five-hour sessions in the overrun? Like, Sorry, what was that? I'm asking if, like, do you have a next game after that, or there is an yeah, option Yeah, I have to... a game at 3 o'clock, so I like to have I an think... hour off in between just so I'm not sitting for eight hours. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, we might be able to uh, occasionally run longer if you guys want to run longer in this game. I um, think the 24th we might be able to, because that we're playing that day, right, and Joe is gone. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking, is the reason we're playing on the 24th is because Joe's not here and he's in the second game. So in situations like that, we can play longer if you guys are so interested. How long would you want to go, Wazura? Um, I don't know. Sometimes I do like six-hour sessions, but uh, in this case, it would just make sense because we're literally in the middle of something. Yeah, I, it's clearly up to you guys. Um but I've got to get some shit done before the next session, so I can't really uh, stick around today. But uh, let me know what you guys want to do for next session. Um, I was hoping to get to the uh, the climax of this adventure, because I, I think it'll be a really cool uh, encounter. But we can do that next cave? time. Sorry, what was that? The climax is in this cave? Yes. Okay. You guys are incredibly close to A, finding out what's going on, and B, uh, resolving the story. Okay. Very cool. And leading into the next story. Um, yeah, I don't have a next story. I uh, really need to come up with an idea from here. Um, I think and Azor will probably try to convince them to travel south at this point. To convince them to what? To travel south. Yeah, you guys could go down uh, through the Elven area into the Ladrin area and see if you can get access to the Arboreal um, Edge of Night. Um, Jesse and... Uh, Jagat are familiar with that uh, uh, Fey Wild uh, type situation, and then we can move into Aboria and see what happens there. 
if that's what you're interested in, uh, I can set that up for next time. I don't know how interested we'd be in staying in Aborea. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if it's a like job or offer something, absolutely. But like yeah, living there is yeah. chaotic. Good. No, uh, I'm I'm not even I'm not even going to drop off there myself. I just need to confirm a few things there. Yeah, she just like has then. to go check on her stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm like I'm like staying there, but I don't think two lawful neutral characters want to stay in a chaotic good realm. Yeah, not really. But yeah, no, that sounds interesting. Um, definitely going to see how this. What the conclusion is for this story, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. Well, I will see you guys in two weeks and uh, the other two uh, in an hour. See you in an hour. Take care. Later. Oh, here's right.